Hello? Today we have the finest of the franchise featured program, where we will see some of the best cards in MLB The Show, and every team gets one, even the Nationals, and their 30 year old rookie. Usually we get henchmen in these programs, and now they went throwback with some of these classic packs. At 25k, we get some throwback AL finest cards. Iglesias, Verdugo, LeMahieu, Morton, Guriel, Han, Anderson, Boyd, Salvi. This Jorge Polanco and Kyle Tucker cards, freaking amazing in last year's game. David Fletcher, Liam Hendricks, Mitch Haniger, and Lance Lynn. So I believe these are all finest of the franchise cards from like 2017 to last year's game. And you'll be able to earn all of them along the way. And then at 40K, you'll get the first NL version of the pack with Ozzy Albies. This is also like my favorite finest of the franchise card art. Miguel Rojas, Zach Wheeler, Marcus Stroman, Anthony Rendon, Frank Schwindel, Jesse Winker, Devin Williams. Not just saying that because I'm a Brewers fan, this card looks nasty. Jacob Stallings, Jack Flair, Cattell Marte, CJ Cron, Walker Buehler, Drew Pomerantz, and Brandon Crawford. Getting into the main pack, 50k, you were in your first one with the AL East. It's like the worst division, so of course it's going to be the first one you get. Starting out, we got Adley Rutschman, the rookie phenom catcher, 12200 contact, 16100 power, elite defense at 99. He's also a switch hitter. He's going to be one of the better catchers in the game. I'm going to say that for like all these cards, because all these cards are nuts. Xander Bogarts represents Red Sox, Elite contact, really good power for a shortstop. Little bit of versatility, being able to put him at short, second, and third. Then we got Nasty Nestor, representing the Yankees. 121 hits per nine. He's got a fastball, cutter, slider, circle, sinker. Just a funky windup. He'll be fun to use. Then, in my opinion, the two best cards in this pack, we got Shane McClanahan. 118 hits per nine. Fastball, circle change, curveball, slider. Oh, no outlier. Never mind. This card sucks. And then we got Vladdy Daddy representing the Blue Jays. 117, 105 contact, 119, 108 power, and Vladdy won a gold glove. Never thought I'd see the day that Vladdy's thick ass won a gold glove. But because of that, he's got A9 fielding. Some more classic packs along the way. 75K, we move on to the AL Central. Representing the Guardians, we got Jose Ramirez. Talk about versatility. Can put him at third, second, short, left. He does everything well, and he's a switch hitter. Dylan Cease represents White Sox, 122 hits per nine, primary slider, he also has a sinker. Tariq Skubal, I don't see anybody in their right mind, uh, even if you're a Tigers fan, why the hell would you want this card? Yeah, nobody's taking him. But this Bobby Witt though, this card might be pretty good. 117, 104 contact, 108, 119 power, 88 fielding, 99 speed. That's damn good at the shortstop position. Then very underrated card in my opinion is Juwan Duran. 117 hits per nine. He's got a fastball splitter, 12-6 curve, and a slider. But what makes this card so good is he has outlier not only on his fastball, but behind me, he has outlier too. So he has outlier on the splitter. The dude throws hard. 100K, we move on to the ALS. We got the little midget and Jose Altuve. 114, 121 contact, 108, 114 power, 85 fielding, 77 speed. He could be pretty good, especially with how little he is. His strike zone's gonna be small. And a surprise turn of events, this team has Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, but yet it's Taylor Ward who gets the finest of the franchise. 120, 111 contact, 120, 105 power, 87 field aid, 84 speed, and he can play everywhere. Primary right field, but the big key, he can play catcher, first, third, left, or center field. Sean Murphy's also another very underrated card in my opinion. 108, 103 contact, 104, 119 power, 95 fielding, and 98 arm. And with that, he gets the catcher pop time quirk, so basically you're not gonna be able to steal on this guy. J-Rod's gonna just be a fan favorite because of his name, but he still looks good. 115, 109 contact, 115, 119 power, 99 fielding, 99 arm, 99 speed. And then Adolis Garcia looks really good in the hitting stats. He also has 94 fielding and 99 arm. You could honestly make a case he's better than that J-Rod guard. That's the AL side of things. Now we move on to the NL. We got the NL East. We got Spencer Strider, Mustache Nall, Forcing Fastball, Slider, Circle Change, Two Seamer, 121 hits per nine, 119 Ks per nine. And of course, he does have outlier on the fastball. Big time speed. San Diego Country is probably going to win Cy Young. 119 hits per nine, 125 stamina. Dude led the league in complete games. Primary Circle Change, Sinker, Fastball, Slider, Curveball, and he does have Outlier 2 on the sinker. A lot of cards put Outlier. We got Pete Alonso representing the Mets, 116, 106 contact, 125 power, 
Everybody loves his home run derby card. You have to think this card's going to be a lot better. Aaron Nola represents the fills, fastball, knuckle curve, sinker, circle change, cutter. He's probably one of the worst cards in this pack. Nothing crazy about him. But then I bashed the Nationals, but we got a 30-year-old rookie, Joey Minessi, with first base primary, but you can put him at third, left, right, 114, 125 contact, 104, and 121 power. 86 fielding. Give him shit, but he's not that bad. And El Sandra, who is representing this trash division? Nico Corner represents the Cubs. Really good contact. Okay power. 99 fielding. 95 speed. Decent card. A little bit of versatility as well. Hunter Green. 113 hits per nine. Four seamer slider. Circle change. Two seamer. And of course, he's going to have outlier on the fastball. One of the hardest throwers in baseball. And then my unbiased prediction of the best card in this pack is Hunter Big Cock Renfro. 109 9, 111 contact with maxed out power both sides, 92 fielding, 99 arm, and if you've ever used a Hunter Renfro card, they're good. You breathe on the ball and this card's gonna hit it 500 feet. And of course, Ryan Reynolds, Mickey Mantle, before we get a Mickey Mantle, 118, 115 contact, 120, 114 power, 89 fielding, 90 speed, and he's a switch hitter with a nasty swing. And then we got Nato representing third base, 125, 107 contact, 109 power versus righties, 125 versus lefties. Very good versus lefty in pitching. And of course, 10 straight gold gloves. He has to have 99 fielding. Holy shit, I'm almost done. Last division, NL West. We got Dalton Varsho. This card's gonna be sneaky good. 107, 108 contact, maxed out power versus righties with 90 power versus lefties. 99 fielding with 84 speed, and you can put him at catcher. Dean the Bird maxed out hits per nine. He also has outlier one on the sinker. Freddie Freeman, this card's gonna be one everybody's gonna want. Maxed out contact, 109 and 100 power. Manny Machado, 125 contact, 106 contact versus lefties, 114 and 125 power versus lefties, 95 fielding, 99 arm. Damn, that's a lot of 99s. Then finishing it off, we got Logan Webb, 112 hits per nine. He's got a sinker. Slow Slider, change out, four seam fastball, and no outlier, kind of sucks. That is all the cards. You'll be able to earn every single one at 160k XP. You'll be able to get one deficient pack. And throughout the program, you'll be able to earn three of them. So three out of the five from every single division. Then once we get to 520 XP, you'll be able to earn these Legends Choice Packs again for whatever reason. Of course, you get them the same way. Gameplay XP, moments, future program moments, week one missions. If you haven't completed the Ghouls and the Goats program, you can actually add those cards in still and get 10k XP. Same if you haven't finished all this freaking extreme stuff. We also have Ducks in the Pond Conquest map. I'll be sure to post hidden rewards for that. But that'll give you 45k XP. Big chunk. Now we have the best event we've had all year, hands down. Finest of the franchise event ends in two weeks. You can use finest postseason or live series cards, three inning games on all-star difficulty, pre-basic. And up front at five wins and 10 wins, you'll be able to earn rewind pack to get any of the cards that you previously missed. 15 wins gets you a finest Jose Albreu card with really good contact, but of all the first baseman we just got, he's not gonna be very good. 20 wins gets you a 99 Felix Batista, maxed out hits per nine, fastball, splitter, slider, and a cutter. He also has outlier on the fastball. He's going to be a really good back end closer. 25 wins gets you rookie phenom Michael Harris 125, 101 contact, 120 power and 88 for his lefties. 98 fielding, 99 arm, 9 speed. He's really good Versus with everything that's not against left-handed pitching. He's a platoon guy, but his defense, his speed, his power and contact versus righties, he's going to be nice. And then it just goes all the way 30 wins, and you can get the best damn pitcher in the game with Jacob DeGrom, finest guard, 123 hits per nine. Fastball, slider, circle change, curveball, two-seam fastball, and of course has outlier on the four-seamer. Remember all the PTSD and just straight agony that the 99 Jacob Graham gave you last year? This card looks better. 31s, 100% recommend playing the event. And then I was very first at why the finest card for the Brewers wasn't Corbin Burns, only to find out we have a brand new chase pack that includes 99 Corbin Burns. And I'm about to spend a shit ton of money trying to get him. 120 hits per nine, cutter, sinker, curveball, circle change, slider. Outlier on the sinker. Corbin Burns cards are always some of the best pitchers in the game. He's not as good as that DeGrom is and a lot more expensive, but he's going to be one of the best pitchers in the game right now. I need this Corbin Burns. Ah, what the hell. I don't care about any of these packs. Going right for the chase pack set five. Diamond, come on, come on. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Ah, oh. blue. Trout? I mean, it's not Corbin, but 
We, pu we pulled the trout. I'm oh, just kidding. This curtain doesn't sell for anything anymore. Well, that was disappointing. We're not done with all the finest cards. Go to Legends Flashback. We got a finest set where you can actually earn players 15. Collect 15 of these finest cards. Get 99 overall Byron Fuxton. 88 contact for his righty spot. That's bad. 108 contact for his lefties. Max style power for side, both sides with 99 fielding, 99 arm, 99 speed. He does everything really well besides make contact for his apparently. I still love Buxton cards, so I'll be plugging him in the center. 20 wins gets you a 99 Max Scherzer with a four seamer slider, circle change cutter, slurve, 116 hits per nine. Dude, talk about a freaking Mets program. Damn, they get Scherzer, they get DeGrom, they get their own finest card, and then they get 25, collect 25 cards, a 99 overall Edwin Diaz. Max out hits per nine, fastball, slider sinker outlier on the fastball but i don't like his pitch mix then if you collect every single card all 30 cards which remember you can only earn 18 cards from the program then you got the event and a bunch of other stuff and shit is along the way as well but you'll be able to earn this 99 overall paul goldschmidt with 113 125 contact 110 125 power he maxes out both sides for his left-handed pitching still a weird card to have at all 31 set as a uh, first baseman i believe that's everything we went over the final of the franchise stuff, the collection, the chase at five, the events, ton of content today. But now, what do we have coming up next? On 11-8, we got the Takashi collection. So 99 Otani? That's what I'm guessing, 99 Otani. TBD is the World Series content. We'll find out whenever that ends. Could end tonight, could end tomorrow, could end, I don't even know when it ends. Sometime this weekend it'll end. 11-11, we got the Milestone program. Unlock four new Milestone Series rewards, another program with showdown and moments. And then also same day, we got the final roster update from the playoffs. And then we got the next big Legends and flashback collection i think they said it's the last one and i'm pretty sure they said this is the best card in mlb the show history so definitely gotta start collecting on some of those flashbacks i'm not even close i don't even have cuts yet i got some work to do but like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out